Welcome to the 5 Minute English Vocabulary Podcast. My name is Herbert Lee and I'll be your host. Now you can easily improve your vocabulary without memorizing long lists of boring words and still develop a powerful command of English. You'll learn the origin of words or etymology, told as easy to remember stories. You'll also hear some jokes and learn some idioms as well. Episode 38 Really untouchable words, part one. English is a language of constant evolution, where words come and go like fleeting fashion trends. Yet, amidst this transitory linguistic landscape, there are a select few words that remain untouchable, standing the test of time with an air of mystique and intrigue. These hidden gems of vocabulary have managed to lasso their way into our lexicon. defying the odds and captivating our imagination so buckle up as we embark on a playful journey to introduce some untouchable english words that will leave you spellbound and yearning for more transitory t r a n s i t o r y the word transitory is derived from the latin word transitorius which is formed by combining the prefix trans meaning across or beyond and the noun itor meaning one who goes or a traveler originally the term referred to something that is temporary or passing in nature highlighting its transient or fleeting nature it describes something that does not have a permanent or lasting quality and is subject to change or disappearance over a relatively short period of time in essence transitory conveys the idea of moving across or beyond indicating that something is not meant to last indefinitely but rather has a temporary existence it suggests a state of impermanence and emphasizes the notion of being in transition or on a journey towards another state The use of transitory can be applied to various aspects such as emotions, experiences, phases in life, trends or conditions that are temporary in nature. In summary, the term transitory denotes something that is passing or temporary and derives from Latin roots indicating movement and change. Transitory in a comical sense could be defined as that fleeting moment when you remember something important but then instantly forget it it's like your brain decides to play hide and seek with the information leaving you hanging in confusion you can almost hear your thoughts whispering nah i'm just going to pass through your mind and leave without saying hi this hilarious phenomenon often occurs at the most inconvenient times like when you're about to share an incredibly witty comeback or recall someone's name during a conversation another amusing definition of transitory would be those split seconds when you find yourself stuck between two doors that are closing it's like participating in an impromptu game show where the prize is avoiding public embarrassment Your inner superhero emerges as you channel all your strength into squeezing through that impossibly narrow gap before becoming trapped forever in door purgatory. The feeling of victory when you successfully navigate this treacherous path is indescribable, a mixture of relief, triumph, and unadulterated silliness. Why did the comedian decide to open a pop-up joke shop? because he knew that humor was transitory and his jokes needed to be constantly changing why did the scarecrow leave its job why did the scarecrow leave its job at the farm because it realized that its career in scaring away birds was transitory and it wanted something more stable why did the math textbook break up with the calculator because it realized that their relationship was transitory and it wanted a more permanent solution fleeting f l e e t i n g the word fleeting has its roots in the old english words fleeten or fleeshen which means to float 
fly, or move swiftly. These words were derived from the Proto-Germanic word flotigiana, meaning to swim or float. Over time, the meaning of fleeting evolved to describe something that passes by quickly or moves swiftly, much like an object gliding through the air or water. It is often used to refer to something that is brief, transitory, or short-lived. The concept of fleetness and quick movement is at the core of the word's entomology. It conveys the idea of things being in motion and slipping away rapidly. Thus, when we describe something as fleeting, it suggests a momentary nature, something that comes and goes swiftly without leaving a lasting impression. Fleeting. Ah, the word that perfectly encapsulates that moment when you catch a glimpse of your favorite dessert on a passing food truck, only for it to disappear around the corner before you can even utter the words, extra sprinkles, please. It's like trying to hold on to a soap bubble or chasing after an elusive firefly in the summer twilight. Fleeting is that sensation of time slipping through your fingers like sand as you desperately attempt to grasp onto something that is just too quick to be captured. In this fast-paced world we live in, everything seems to be fleeting these days. From our attention spans during a riveting Netflix binge-watching session, blink and you'll miss it, to those precious weekend hours that seem to evaporate into thin air, leaving us wondering where all the relaxation went. But perhaps there's something magical about embracing the fleeting moments. After all, they do make us appreciate what we have in front of us just a little bit more. So next time you find yourself chasing after something fleeting, whether it's a dream, an opportunity, or simply trying not to sneeze during someone's heartfelt speech, remember that sometimes life's most beautiful moments are found in those brief Flashes of brilliance. Why did the tomato turn red and run away? Because it saw a banana peeling by and knew its chance by escape. Because it saw a banana peeling by and knew its chance for escape was fleeting. Why did the math book become a track athlete? Because it wanted to chase after the elusive and fleeting solution. In the vast realm of language, there are some words that seem to elude our grasp, dancing just out of reach. Transitory and fleeting are two such words, teasing us with their ethereal nature. These untouchable English words, like elusive butterflies or fleeting shooting stars, bring a touch of whimsy to our linguistic endeavors. They remind us that language is a living entity, constantly evolving and surprising us with its hidden treasures. So next time you come across one of these captivating words, embrace the challenge and try to catch them in your linguistic net. After all, what's life without a little playful pursuit? Our next episode promises to be equally evasive. Until then, it's Herbert Lee saying bye for now. <laughs>